Hey guys, so this is my coil gun web shooter thingy uh, that I made. Um, I'm just going to go through, this is going to be a quick video just running through basic setup and we're going to do some testing. So basically how it works, you have a battery here, right, 4.5 volts, there's just three AAA batteries and they're charging up uh, these six capacitors um, through this circuit board. So the energy goes through the circuit board and then goes through the transformer and then the transformer um, ups the voltage and charges all six capacitors and then you have a, you have a voltage voltage voltmeter right here so this tells you how much voltage is in, uh, in the capacitors and then you just press you press this button and what it will do it will release all these all this energy into the coil creating a magnetic field and then your projectile right that you put through here um, it'll be here and then it'll be a very strong magnetic field for a split second and that'll be enough for the projectile to go to to have enough momentum to push to the center and by the time it reaches the center there's no more energy and it just keeps going so that's the basic uh, you know explanation of how coil gun works and uh, yeah there are videos on YouTube explaining um, how to make these so I uh, thought I'd contribute to that and make my own okay let's do some testing okay so this is what we will be shooting yep it's just a pointed piece of metal and I uh, filed it down, drilled a hole. That's if you want to put you know, a string on it to uh, you know, amplify the effect of Spider-Man. Um, so it used to be this piece and now it's this. And you can see it fits perfectly inside the barrel. So yeah, that's that's a pretty nice snug fit. Loose enough for it to um <laughs> loose enough for it to uh to travel through the projectile but uh not tight enough for it to get stuck. So <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. So this is what it looks like when it's uh put on your wrist. It's, uh, it's really bulky. You can see it's at the uh, prototype stage. <laughs> hasn't really, you know, been perfected yet. It hasn't been covered up, looking nice. It's just this is just a setup to see if it works or not. If the uh, so, what you do, I press this button, and it starts charging up the capacitors. Okay, so it's all loaded, uh, ready to fire. The projectile is at the back here. You can kind of see it. If I get it focused, yeah, that line, that's the end of projectile. And we're going to shoot in three, two, one. Nice. You can see it uh, went through, not all the way, <laughs> but uh, definitely penetrated. So I've taped the piece of foam to the wall, um, see if we can get it at a medium shot range. Test fire, three, two, one. Okay, missed. <laughs> okay, this is test two. And three, two, one. Fire. Okay, missed again. Okay, test three. Please, I uh, just <laughs> hope we get it this time. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, this is test eight. Ah, oh, finally. <laughs> I shot it backwards. Look at that. It's crazy. Nice. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's as you can see, it's not the most um, practical <laughs> coil gun in the world. Uh, yeah, a lot of misses there. Um, mainly, the reason is, well, because it's you know hard to aim. But way we can fix that, just put a little little one dollar laser at the bottom here, and uh, you'll never miss. Um, if you do want it to be a, you know, web, whatever, <laughs> you can just add some string, right, to the end of this, and 
right, focus to the end of that, through that hole. Um, the only problem is it will decrease the, the distance because it's a lot of resistance, the length of the wire. Yeah, as I said before, it is a, um, it's just a prototype, you know, just, just something to uh, show that it actually works, you know. I mean, I just wanted to make it look fun, saw it on YouTube, it was great. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.